go. Game number nine begins now on Atlantis Spaceship here in the bottom left corner from Team Quran 3 Esports Club. It is Lucifron. And uh, Lucifron is one of the best players in Spain. He is the WCS Spain champion. A lot of players, uh, a lot of people kind of like toss it up between Lucifron and Vortex. Whoever's just playing better at the time. Uh, Vortex did get farther in WCS Europe. Uh, but by one place. I mean, who's from place third? Like, what? That's that's still really good. Still a lot of money. And a guy that has earned all the monies, uh, the most uh, highest earning player in 2012 thus far, it is EG Raid Call Stefano. Stefano not only won NASL, he won WCS Europe this year. He won... Uh, what else did he win? That's all he won, but he's won a lot. He's placed like he's placed top yeah, four yeah. and a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, Stefano's actually won, uh, like like IPL. He's won. <laughs> uh, he's won like on IPL. He's won on Europe soil a lot. He's won, uh, you know, the WCS Europe there, and he's won NASL. He's won like he's starting to win everywhere, which is kind of ridiculous, and he's still doing well. I know. Um. And, and what's the, what's the fable, right? That EG's guy's supposed to win one tournament after they get recruited, because that's what Huck did, that's what Thorzane did, and that's what Stefano did. But if there's any indication of Stefano slowing down, I've yet to see it. Yeah, I mean, Stefano wins first places at tournaments like Oprah gives out bees, man. It's just so so uh, so much. Oprah He's gives that out bees. Yeah, man. Like to pollinate? No, you didn't see the meme. Never mind. That's oh. Cool. I, I don't know. Is there's there's a thing of Oprah, and she's like, bees, bees, bees. And there's <laughs> bees swarming all over the place. It's uh, really she, so like, gives out. Uh, yeah, because she gives stuff out. Everyone's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. I remember they did that, too, with uh, with Tyra as well. That show. They give out, like, a bunch of Vaseline. And they're like, oh, my God, there's a bunch of eye cream. And they're like, ah! That's exactly what happens, though, when I hear Stefano is playing or something. I'm like, ah! I like throw up my hands <laughs> up, so I can't even like make fun of them so much. You look like a wacky wave <laughs> waving. I look like Squidward from man. SpongeBob, where yeah. my arms are waving. I'm like, ah! Adventure Time, man. That's what it is. Too. Oh yeah, Adventure Time. Anyway, we do have a gas first coming out from Loose Front. He's doing some one base play. I'm interested to see how he actually puts his starport down. I would actually love him to proxy it, but I highly doubt he's going to proxy it now since his barracks is kind of out of position. I mean, normally you want to, like, have it really, really close to your opponent. Yeah. But that does mean that the Banshee will take a much longer time to get there. The reason why I think it's Banshee is because he got the second uh, refinery. But here comes some Hellions. It's going to be Reactor Hellion to start things off. And, oh, okay, he saw the gas. So he sees the gas, and Stefano says, oh, it just makes spine crawlers. No big deal. So, cool. Yeah, make double spine color one. See, man, that's that's the power of gas timings. Yeah. When you know gas timings, if you're able to do moves like this. You can prepare. Yes, sir. Um, and you know, Stefano knows that Atlanta Spaceship is a little bit hard to kind of cover everything with one spine crawler. So, uh, why not double up and yes, uh, just take it a little bit safer? Sure, you scale back three, four drones ish um, for one spine crawler. Meanwhile, look at this. Lucifron is mixing it up. Mixing it up, keeping the, the tech lab on the barracks and making a medevac and saying, I don't care if you uh, have two spine crawls in your natural, I'm just going to supersede that. Bypass it and just drop the Hellions into your base. That's right. This is going to be, or it has the potential to be very effective. You can see Atlanta Spaceship does feature a very wide ramp, or not a wide ramp, but wide uh, main. So you can actually get it, get the, the Hellions down in the shroud to make it a little bit yeah. more anonymous. And then all of a sudden, you, you bust through, and you're surprising your opponent rather than Stefano reacting Ooh. immediately. Oh, Overlord just barely misses Medivac as well. Um, and it's compounded by the fact that not only is there you know, no vision, there's no creep. So there's only so much that you know, Zerglings can chase. And th this is just a, this is just a, a, a powerful position because Luzfranz is able to you know, harass. He can expand really safely behind us as well um, if he so chooses to do that. But he's on one base. Uh, and he doesn't have a command center yet, so this oh. has to do damage. Oh, Stefano's not prepared. In fact, the drones are not running yet. Stefano has to do some impromptu splits. Ooh, the medevac taking lots of damage, and there's a lot of queens, so has to be very careful. But oh, oh. Lucifron getting a money shot killer for a uh, killer burn here. And Stefano has five queens. 
but not enough to protect all the drones, although the drone kind of is still pretty high. Oh, nice job, Lucifer. I'm picking everything up. He only loses a single Hellion. That's actually awesome. But look at the harvest count. Still 35 to 26. Now, don't forget that mule. A mule is four and a half mining workers per minute. So that's important to note. So we're looking at 30 to 40. It's still quite drastic, but we do have Cloak Banshees coming up as well. Cloak Banshees are a little bit late, and as you said, five queens, spore crawlers in, in place. I don't know how Lucifron is going to be able to do anything from here. I really feel like his harass is pretty much over. Like, ah, uh, it's just, he has detection, so it's not going to be a big deal, but he doesn't have mobile detection yet. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, Luceron has something up his sleeves, but it's going to be tough, Rodan. Very tough. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, it's. Hmm, I mean, the fact that Luceron really didn't have a strong economy, it's so weird because. Or it's not so weird, it's so different from uh, the normal builds that Luceron has been doing. He's. Uh, he's went for like six orbital commands kind of uh, like at the 13 minute mark that's how absurdly greedy he's been playing and in this case he's doing a nice job with cloak banshees uh oh uh oh uh banshee get out of there oh get out oh, all right running out of cloak big uh, hellion run by can he get enough drones here there's just so many queens throwed in and the drones are able to evacuate in nice time there's so but many he queens. gets up the ramp oh, oh the drones yeah. Oh my goodness, some of them are so weak. He oh, need a couple more shots. God. And Lucifron gets nice shots there. But again, Lucifron, he's been doing this off of one base. And, you know, Lucifron actually kind of alluded to the fact that he's been saving builds in this series. And uh, he's wanted to show Stefano all kinds of styles of play. And in this case, his one base is still pretty strong. He still needs to do some more considerable damage, considering that Stefano is on still a pretty healthy economy. And he's even starting to tech up from here. Getting uh, some upgrades, and he has layered down. He's starting to get his infestation uh -oh. bit as well. Things might get a little dicey, Rodan. Oh! Gets the transfuse just in time. Nicely done. Uh, and as you can see, these queens are just so hardy. But oh, oh no! Overseer is here. And he's going to be able to take out one of the Banshees. But, it, oh, gosh. He's not able to get the other two still. I think Stefano is in perfect position. I mean, look at this. 32 workers killed. We're wow. 10 minutes into the game, but income tap sh still shows a stronger economy out for uh, for for Stefano. Wow. And that's uh, obviously a big problem. Here we go. Another potential run by. But look at this. Stefano's so smart covering his, his back end. Going to go ahead and stop those Banshees from doing any more damage. And oh, oh, he lets him in! Oh, Stefano having one small gap. The Hellion's able to get in yet again and just burn more drones, man. And some Hellions just want to see the drones. Wow. Burn. How did he kill 15? 15 workers in that last attack. Man. 41 to 36. So look at how even we are. Remember, I said it's four and a half mining uh, mining SCVs per minute. So you can see his, uh, his single mule is able. Nope, he doesn't have a mule on the field. If he had a single mule out in the field, he would be good. But I think he wants to save it because the more he puts to this mineral patch or these mineral patches, the faster these are going to burn out. He wants to stay on two base economy as long as possible. So that's why we see him not really allocating those mules just yet. But don't worry, he's going to put a flurry of them down pretty soon afterwards. Yeah. Uh, but things stabilize. It's important to note that Stefano really hasn't you know, been able to, uh, to get a huge amount of units. Like, he hasn't been able to actually make anything of, of value. It's only been queens from here on. And queens, yes, they're good, but they're not really... I mean, they can't go attack. They can, I guess. We saw that Daybreak game where they went across map and were able to do some damage. But still, I, on a map like Atlanta Spaceship, I highly doubt that he's going to be able to do that. Well, we'll see uh, how things uh, pan out in the next couple of minutes. The final still limits to base, uh, which is actually not as oh great no. a situation. Oh, the Banshees get fungal, and a fungal means hello and goodbye. Sayonara. Peace out. Aloha also means goodbye. Did you know that? Just like Ohana. <laughs> Ohana oh God, no. means goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. It was actually like a, it was actually like our team's punchline because in, in junior high basketball, like we always, you know, like people have like team chants, like, you know, there's no I in team, or you know, like stick together, like live together, die together, you know, like bad ballers for life, whatever. Some people had some really bad chants. Ours was always Aloha means goodbye, which was also fun. That's cool. Yep. 
I don't think you don't need, my you team just don't care. Andre, I, I get it. It's cool. I don't know how to respond to that, Frodan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't have any like similar stories to tell you. Like, oh yeah, my team said this. No, we were you just didn't like, have a lot of school spirit. Uh, no, our our school was notorious for not having any school spirit. Wow. Actually, like literally, we were notorious. There was. Uh, I was from high school north, and the high school south had the most school spirit. And we were like. Mm. Idiots. How about some infested Terran spirit, Andre? Are you I feeling that, love in that. The back? Oh, of I would love the that. Line? Oh my goodness. It's always awesome too when they have tanks, because then they splash the infested Terrans and kill, help kill the SCVs faster. I'm like, yes, by all means, kill them. So what Stefano is going to do most likely is pressure oh the goodness. third base or at least what attack up a little bit. A slow ling infester attack. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's the legendary 15 minute med while oh boost timing, okay? Oh gosh. <laughs> the slow ling before uh, upgrades are done. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fungal goes down. Goodbye, Marines. Poor Marines. He's going to try to also draw the units out and fed the Yeah, that's back. right. It's, it's, it's a bait. It's a trap. It is a trap. There they go. Oh, he's attacking onto oh, the siege tanks. Very nice. Wow, and it's actually doing a lot of damage. Infested Terran are actually killing all the units in the <laughs> SEV line. Don't even and need the How is Stefano doing this? The supply just uh, completely seesawed the other way. Stefano now doubling Lucifer on Lucifer. His third base is, it has to be evacuated. His natural is under siege. Uh, he's kept his Infestor counts. He's bringing queens for the transfuses as well as the deeps. Oh, man. Uh, Stefano also watering his Infestor straight to the battle. But it's okay, man. He's got queens. Yeah. And you can... Oh, yeah. You DPS that Marine down. You yeah. get it. You Deep. get it. And the Infestor the Infestors are still coming. Zergling reinforcements. <laughs> the third is still under siege. The SPs are finally dealing with it as well. More Infested Terrans coming out. Siege tank wandering a little bit too far. And the Queens have so much energy for transfuses. This is uh, so this is this is a ragtag army. GG. <laughs> Stefano takes the final game of the series and wins his best of 11, <laughs> six to three. And I don't even I don't even know how to call that kind of style. Was it uh, was that flashy or was it just I, I just want <laughs> this to be over. I just sent everything. Like I'm surprised he didn't just pull his drones, man. Because that's that's exactly what happened, man. Ferdinand, I was even like, well, he doesn't have anything of value. <laughs> queens can't walk across the map, yeah. especially on Antigua shipyard. Antigua He's like, shipyard. Or, he wandered his queens, slowlings, and queens, yeah. and broad infestors. That is or, not a composition you normally. Excuse me. See. I said Antigua shipyard. It's Atlantis spaceship. Did I say Antigua? Too? Yeah, you did I, too. I, I made off you. I made you say wow, that. Wow. I'm the sorry, power Ferdinand. Of persuasion. Guys, uh, that does it. That does it for this best of 11. The final wins $500. Uh, we're going to try to get take on the line for an interview, but uh, tomorrow will be Nurcio versus Naniwa for the Homecraft series, the final day. Uh, it's, again, $500. Nurcio versus Naniwa, best of 11. That will be casted by Mr. Bitter and Rotterdam. Um, of course, uh, also 6 p.m. Pacific tonight, we're going to have uh, our Division Four play. MC versus Tasia is the highlight, the fight of the night. Uh, with all due respect to all the other players, because we have lots of great games. Yeah, definitely. So if you guys can, I know a lot of Europeans, it's a little bit tough to actually, I wouldn't even say wake up that hour. You're kind of sleeping at that hour. Yeah. But if you want to watch, it's going to be at the end of the broadcast. Definitely try to wake up and catch those. This is, of course, uh, for our Euro audience. And uh, speaking of the Euro people, do we have them on Skype? Okay. All right, guys. Oh, uh, we're so do shortly the following this broadcast, we're going to do the standard EU broadcast as well, or rebroadcast uh, of what happened last night, where we saw Dark and Lowly have very so polarizing. So just just nights. when you thought you were going to sleep, <laughs> just when you thought we were going to sleep, man, we <laughs> have lots more NASL content, uh, and and that, that's what pretty much does it. Andre, do you have a do you have a favorite game of the day out of this best eleven? I can't remember all of them. To be uh, I really, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I necessarily liked the Metropolis game because it's very turtly and very felt like very, it felt very anticlimactic after that long build. Yeah, up. it was my favorite game up until like the actual <laughs> engagement. Where it was yeah, like, it was oh, silly. That like, was actually not oh, as fun wow, as I Hunter thought. Oh wow, Hunter Seeker missiles do so much damage. Did yeah. you see those Breedlords and air units? And then you're like, oh, oh, ultras demolish everything. Yeah, it's kind of okay. like uh f like like uh like freshman year of college. It was like, man, this is not as fun as I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> like I always was told like legends and fables of how fun college was. Uh but then sophomore and like junior years actually got really fun. And then uh and then I left college to came Comcast here, so. Boom. You can say how fun college was for me. Um but that being said, I I think my favorite one uh, it was one of the earlier games. I just don't remember which one. 
I think it was the one. What was the second game again? What uh, the one play? that Stefano like did the roach on Daybreak when he did the roach proxy knock ne the Nidus. No, that was that one favorite. was a fun game too. That was a fun game. That was, a really that was fun my game. favorite. There's a favorite in there. I just can't remember all the games offhand. But well, uh, either they're way, all guys, uh, we're we're trying to get take on the line. Um, I guess we're going to take a quick commercial break and wrap things up for this best 11. This is the Homecraft series with Take TV and NAS.